In this week's video I'm going to show you how to do the black swan makeup and it's inspired by the movie but it is not accurate. First I'm using white grease paint to just cover my entire face and expose areas. And I am using this brace thing so if I'm talking a bit weird in this video that's why. I'm listing all of the products I'm using down below, but you do not need to use the exact same brand as me, just the same product. Using black face paint for the eyes, I'm just lining out everything, and I'm starting with my nose and then I'm working my way out. I'm just creating the outer shape and then I'm gonna fill in the little squiggle lines in between afterwards. I'm creating lines along the pattern and then I'm connecting everything so that they go together. So you can see I'm just dragging over the eye and then I'm connecting the inner corner to the line on the outer corner. And then I'm just continuing with the lines and make everything connected. And then I'm making little feathers on the edge. Now I'm starting with the scribbles in the inner corner and I'm just creating lines that go down. And here I'm just making some of the lines a bit thicker. And I'm creating the pattern by making little boxes inside of the design. I'm deepening the inner part of the mask along the eyebrow. And this is the same as in the movie and this is gonna create a more intense look. Apply mascara and add on some false lashes if you want. Apply black to your waterline and then I'm just gonna powder everything down using a translucent powder. You can also use a white powder if you have that or white eyeshadow. I'm applying some plum lipstick to finish the design but if you want it to look more like the movie make sure to put in some red lenses as well. And so this is the finished look ready for a black swan of the ballet.